Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Legends here at Las Vegas. We're ready to go here for qualifying. I'm a little bit late to the join here, so I'm going to go out in a hurry. We've got ourselves a 3.1k strength of field race on Monday night. Some uh, real fast guys in here. Um, go back and see the roster in a minute. For now, we're going to try to get ourselves a good starting position. First lap's going to be it, as usual, in this car. Because uh, the tires don't really want to last much longer than that. So we'll see what we can get. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Fastest lap for Lord, 33.1. And a big lift off. I think during the race I'll be using a little bit of brake, but for qualifying here, I think I should be able to get away with lifting off big and just making sure we keep this bottom line. See how good this works for us. One more lap. That's a 32.448. A P3 for the moment. And of course, the second lap here is just not going to be anywhere close, no matter what we do. So, uh, hopefully we can keep it there or better. Let's look at the one. Oh, no, the one is down there at seventh. Interesting. Expected the one to be a uh, contender for pole. Now it's the number two. A couple of uh, other content creators in this race, I think. Uh, whose names you might recognize. We're going to do a practice pit in here because hopefully we'll have to use it here in this series. If we don't, that means uh, cautions come out and ruins the green flag run. Being pretty aggressive on entry. Or am I? Well, that was pretty easy to get in. Oh my god. Every time I do a practice pit in now, from now on, it's going to yell at me, I think, because they don't like it when you go down pit road during a qualifying session anymore. So, it's always going to be barking at me. P4 right now with a couple more to go. we got Mike in here. He could uh, very well surpass us, and the 5 still has to go as well. So a couple names. They could still drop us down further, but right now, P4, not so bad. I'll definitely take uh, a time in the fours. Our best is, a, is in the twos, but I think that was on a different setup or in a different build of this car, because I'm not sure if I can reach that again. But uh, we're not too far off, so maybe. Anyway, we got 30 seconds to go. It's a 90 lap race. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do for strategy yet. We'll see how the tire fall off is feeling and if, you know, see if it plateaus. We'll see what other guys are doing. But hopefully it will be a good one. Mike down there in eighth right now. And uh, he has not done his second lap, although the first lap's going to be the one that's fast anyway, I think. That's the end of the session, P4. So it looks like we'll hold on to P4. Alright, I'll definitely take that. And we'll get this thing gridded up. How much fuel we got on a uh, full tank? 66 laps. So, directly in the middle would be 45. Don't listen to that. The correct strength of field is 3.1k. If we do pit under green, we'll probably take the two right side tires. They got rid of the fuel mileage major. Get rid of the fuel mileage. Oh yeah, the thing where it says like we should have enough fuel, plenty enough fuel to enter. Get to the end of the race or whatever. He used to say that all the time, even though if it, it was often very not correct. <laughs> I guess I I guess I'd prefer them say 
Like, the DNF would be bad for the points. Like, most obvious statement ever stated. This thing on. Oh, we got two sets of tires. We'll have to use those carefully if we start getting cautions. And I'm hoping I'll be able to save the tires on this thing. I'm going to try to back up my entry a little bit. And uh, wait to get on throttle. Be patient with the throttle. Ease on to it. And hopefully get some rotation. Hey, my uh, race lab isn't working. Uh, anybody mind telling me how far we can go on here? We need to follow car number zero two in the outside column. It's about right. If you want to clutch it around the whole track, you can probably do seventy three. All right, so sixty five, you tell me. That sounds about right. So sixty five, not fifty five, right? Yes, sixty five. Thank you, I appreciate it. Good luck, everybody. All right. So it's looking like we're. I just realized that depending on how you drive this car, you could have a 10 lap swing in that. Yeah. If you drive it hard, I saw right around 63. You're doing a lot of lifting towards the end, so it ends up being. I wonder if that means a lot of guys are planning on going along. Wanting, wanting to know how long it's going to take this thing. Just from there. That's often a good idea in this series with the the old style rules and stuff. So we'll think about that. Two going way up by the wall. Looking like a second gear start. Be ready. Ice car is off. Be ready. We get going. Two will cut down. Inside. Stay high. Still there, inside. The next it's going a little bit easier through turn one and two. Clear. Outside. What's up, Doug? Keep low. What up, Chris? Alright, we get some track position here. To, uh, Maneuvering our way around. Terrible. Not yeah, we had a leak crack with most of the guys went into the B open. I'm still hearing it in my ear. And it's just nothing but wreck, wreck, wreck. We'll see if we can keep up with the two. I think the two really knows how to get this car around this track. He's always been fast whenever I've raced against him, so we'll see if we uh, Sorry, like I wasn't trying to block you. are able to keep it near him. Low. Stay in his draft, maybe. Yeah, it's all good. I, I just wasn't expecting it. I expect to see that one for the end of this thing, too, for sure. The leader has just done a 32.9. The guy behind has just done a 33.1. He's getting some turn on that white line down there. That's probably pretty good for the tire saving. Able to put it right where he wants it. P2. That lap was a 33.2. Trying to get it on the right rear a little bit if we can. see how our uh, tire wear does over time. Through four here. Okay, Colton. Got a couple of Brandons behind us. Twenty-five. It will end on lap sixty-six. 
think we'll let them go if they are really looking to get around. So I really don't want to push too hard right now. Got some track position early, but now it's all going to be all, all about the tire saving. Feels good so far, though. Doesn't feel like I'm hurting the tires too bad, especially as I kind of get into the rhythm, get the idea of what the car wants from me. He's got himself a bit of a gap. That lap time was 33.7. I'm liking what we're seeing. We're clean and green right now. Seems like guys are being somewhat patient. Just getting some laps done. That's good. You can see that we are falling off a little bit each lap based on our session last lap data. He is to try to minimize that as much as we can. It's always going to happen in this car. Usually pretty big fall off anywhere you go in this car. So we're looking to minimize the damage as much as we can. We've got ourselves a two-tenth gap behind us and then seven-tenths to the next guy. You're getting away a little bit. Pulled out to about half a second. The five taking the apron, he might be ready to come past us. He's going there. I don't know with how heavy this thing is if I want to bother trying the apron here. Maybe at some other tracks, but here the gain you get is minimal anyway. I'm not really all that interested. Be patient on the throttle, making sure I'm just hitting my line. Two used the whole uh, racetrack there. You got all the room, you're gonna be clear up. The one being let by the number six, sounds like. We've pulled back a tenth on the two. Interested to see how our tire wear compares to his. I'm feeling pretty good right now, to be honest. Feel like I've been good with the tires. Still early though. You have my brake bias back pretty far. I didn't do the full all the way back to 42%. In case uh, we need the green flag pit stop, I don't want to be having to adjust that back and forth because I will forget to put it back at some point back forward or backward or wherever I need to put it. So, just gonna, I moved it back, uh, back up to about 46, and I'm gonna keep it there. I can do a green flag pit stop if I need to with it there, and it should give us enough rotation to help us out. When will we pit? 
is a question I'm asking. Because so far we're green. I have to ask ourselves that question. A little bit tight there. It could have backed it down a little bit better maybe there. Keep it low on exit. I think that's a good place for the car. Five right behind us. But we're still in P2 for now. Very good. Very happy with that. a little bit too hard there. Use a little bit of that apron, that's fine. Might be a little bit slower, but a little bit of free rotation. So I guess I'll take that. I think this 5 has saved his tires better than us. Let's use an apron to get up You've just done a nearby. Did seem like he gained him quite a bit there. But he's just got better tires anyway, I think, so. He's probably going to be getting by us soon. Falling off, it looks like. Is he going to our outside? Do I need to leave the lane? I can't tell what he's planning on doing. Keep right. We'll be side by side for a second. Make sure we don't drift up into him. Still there. He chose to pass us on the outside, which is interesting. He might know that's the way to do it. I banked that into my memory. For later. If we ever need to get around somebody. Particularly on older tires. I could definitely see it being harder to go inside. If the car's going to be tight. It's good to know. It's good to... Good to see that in action. This draft is helping us, that's for sure. Let's see how much time we're gaining just by following him. We might pit somewhat close to the halfway point if we're going to be worse on tires than the guys around us. Easy, dog. Not, not friendly down there, Chris. Car's getting slower, a little bit tighter, but it really doesn't feel that bad. I'm not plowing or anything. Just losing some speed, just have a little bit less grip than some of the guys around us. But not disastrous. We're doing okay, I think. Only okay. Maybe like a C plus, but okay. Just rating my own performance here once the race has started. In terms of finishing position, third place would be an A for me. I'm happy. I would be happy with that. I just feel like maybe I hurt my tires a bit too much, so taking some points off myself for that. Oh, we're catching this guy in the corner all of a sudden. I don't know why. Gained a bit on just through that corner. Two is uh, just increasing his gap, able to be out there and be fast at the same time. Consistency. Keep him coming. 
Probably taking advantage of some brake bias, I bet. If I had to guess, probably using the brakes more than I am to rotate. Maybe even using like a two-pedal approach. Not sure. That's just me guessing. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> just trying to think about how maybe he's getting that done. We got the one coming up on us and the six following close behind. But once they catch us and presumably pass us, we got a nice gap behind, so that's not so bad at all. Falling off really slowly, but falling off. Kind of just a slow fade backward. Through 25, though, with no incident that I could see. Pretty great race so far. Just not quite able to save like uh, these other guys have been able to. Not sure what I might need to do differently. Maybe just more on the brakes. Six got around the one behind us, that lap time was and the one was already catching us, so I have to imagine Six is probably in a much better shape than we are, tire-wise. Dare come in right at 45. Wow. Well, that pretty consistent. Pretty risky if a caution comes out. Feels like the uh, tire wear has kind of plateaued too, though. Usually, when that happens, it means you want to stay out a little bit longer. Six has got a run on us. It's pushing us. That's not necessary. You've just done a you're faster. You can just go around if you would like. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Still inside. Clear inside. Inside. Both these guys are faster, so we're just going to let it happen. Car on the low side. Clear. P5. That lap was at 35.0. Uh, hopefully, he'll be able to take advantage of this gap behind us and stay in the top five. Mike's catching us though. He's always pretty good at saving tires. Being fast through the whole run. Definitely see him making his way up here. Well, we get to pit stops first though. 
That's the next question. That was a thirty-four point seven. A little bit of apron there, but it doesn't really slow me down at all. You've just done a 34.7. We are about 12 laps away from the halfway point. Is that when we come in? Maybe we do. Maybe about lap 46. Just to get on the other side of the halfway mark. Actually gained on P6 last lap. If that's going to continue, but that would be great if we could. Your lap times are improving. This is good. Hold on. You can see the uh, tire wear really has plateaued, though. We're, if not green at the end of the lap, close to it, and it kind of just depends on how well I ran the lap more. Than Hi, entry. I think that guy got the wall. Maybe, unless he's running the high line. Maybe he is. Kind of worked, I think, maybe. I got a good run out of the corner. Probably more fun, too. <laughs> That's just me. Not a great freaking 4 for us. I was daydreaming of running the high line, I guess. Was I think he's intentionally kind of taking that higher entry. Interesting to see how that works out for him. He's now gaining on us again, I believe. He's down to one second behind us. Oh, was that a wall hit on entry up there? I saw some smoke like he clobbered it on entry. I think that was P2. A very clean race. Lots of space between guys, it seems like. Very old school style, fitting for the 87s. Nice to have a, a good race in the 87s after that uh, bit of a disaster in the first race of what was going to be the K5 Championship Season 5. Or that became clear that was not going to work. It's unfortunate. Somebody pitting in early. All right, Colton, Big undercut. Maybe they're having some severe handling issues and just absolutely need to come in. Still hanging out about one second back. Pretty good corner there. At least it felt like it. I'm 
Mm, car's getting tighter. Felt pretty tight there. Felt like I had to slow it down a lot in order to get it through. Middle. Without drifting up. The lap time was at like, I can get through the corner just fine. Like, can I hold my line while doing it? No, probably not. If I just slam on the throttle or something. Like, we'll make it to the other side of the corner. But, kind of want to do it the right way. And not, like, you know, drag the wall all the way through. There's a right and a wrong way to do it. <laughs> we have a taker for pitting up in front of us. That is the third place, number six. I do think we're going to want to get a little bit past halfway. This feels like one of those races where it might be worth it to go longer run. I'm just in a bit of a difficult spot here because even though I do believe that to be true, my tire wear has been worse than other guys, and that would make me want to pit sooner. So in my head, I'm kind of equaling that out to about halfway. So there was another take you saw. P2 decided to come in. It's still early for me. Still a little early for me. Mike has pulled in to about half a second behind us. He is on his way. I'm going to push it a little bit harder for a lap or two. Use up the rest of these tires, and then I think I'm coming in about lap 46. Five's coming out. He's going to have fresh tires. Should be able to pull away from us right away. We overdrove it. Kind of misjudged my speed on entry just because he was in front of us. Kind of threw me off visually. Your last lap time was at 34.8. Drift up out of the corner so he can get by on the low side. Got another guy coming. We're going to stay middle here. I really thought he was going to come through faster than that, though. He has fresher tires. No, spotter. I'd like to know if I'm clear or not. Thank you. That's half distance. Should be about 22. Laps of fuel remaining. That lap time was 34.9. P3. Like the pit here, but now Mike's going to our inside. It's okay, we can uh, file in behind him and then come in for our tires. Clear inside. Alright, got it slowed down. Put the fuel in it. Right sides only, please. We are under green. Put all the fuel in it. Get as much rotation as possible. And we are ready for a pit stop. Alright. I didn't slide through at that time. Are you proud of me? <laughs> 59, 71 are the tires. I am stupid because we're putting fuel in it. Okay, it. It's wasting time. I didn't want fuel at the <laughs> at the caveat of that we're gonna lose time. I didn't think about that. That was very smart. Oh well. Let's see what it did to us. Two tire is a pretty easy decision in this car. And two tires so often much faster. The car in front is pitting. 68.85 were the lefts. Pretty big wear actually, but. 
that crazy. Definitely feels like it's got more return, and I like that. That is a good thing. So hopefully we can get ourselves back on the lead lap as soon as possible. Really not like to get stuck. Give us much room, but we get around. The car ahead has just done a 32.8. You're in the top 10. The last lap was a 33.3. So you can see the 9 up there, about 3.4 seconds ahead, so it kind of represents the time we lost, I think. He was ahead of us, but. Not quite that far. We'll end up ahead of some guys that are pitting later, I think. It'll be interesting to see how much they're able to catch us. Mike is still out. Going long. Really could work out. Okay, Colton, the next car is Taylor. Still love to get back on that lead lap, that's for sure. Giving us the bottom. Car outside. Clear okay. outside. Yeah, it was just enough, I suppose. Wanted to make sure before I started driving through that uh, we, the bottom lane was going to be open. That lap was at 33.8. Taylor, the gap is catching a guy that has not pit yet. This is the one in that Spider Man car. Outside. Clear up top. And a couple of lap cars in front of us here. Does that make us the lucky dog? I'm not sure. I can't really check at the moment. P8. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Not, because the one is up there still has not gotten under the lead lap. The gap to Taylor behind is increasing. It's now 1.2 seconds. The two has stayed out very long, I think. Interesting. Suppose that makes sense. He was doing just fine on his tires, it felt like. The car in front is Newsome. Would really like to hear about the leader pitting. Longer we go, the more chance we get uh, that very untimely caution. Come on, Colton. We need to get by Newsom to put us in the lucky dog position. The leaders in that group up there somewhere. The answer, you sir, ahead is now 
I know we can make it about 65 on fuel. That was discussed before the start of the race. So, you know they got to be coming in for too long. Can't make it much longer than 65. They might just be running it completely empty. Eight at the moment. Eighth place. The gap to Leach behind is now. Still a uh, handful of people needing to pit. That was a thirty-four point four. There's the leader right there. We are in lucky dog position at the moment. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But uh, a one-up of that would be just putting ourselves back in the lead lap. And in fact, he's pitting, I believe. There he is. All right, so we're back on the lead lap. We can breathe a little easier. Just have to see how this all cycles out. Got that eight car behind us. He's on one lap fresher tires. 3.4 back. Keep an eye on that. See if he's going to come catch us or not. It's a car rejoining in front. The lead is fitting now. That's m probably Mike. The, the leader pitting now. Over gonna come out right near the two car he's got much fresher tires so that's what makes me think he's definitely gonna go up and catch those guys he's got to get around <laughs> these lap cars though a little awkward but looks like he gets around them safely that lap time was 34.7 the car behind is pitting Where will we end up? Pitching this 15, he's on older tires. It is draft for a little bit. P6. He's six. I think we're going to be able to hold off the eight back there. He's basically been holding steady. The answer, Leach, behind is now 3.5. Getting around the 15 now. Car outside. Keep low. The car in front of us is Newsome. That lap was a 34.7. Clear up top. Hits our entry a little bit, unfortunately. We'll survive. Seven car up ahead is on three lap older tires. Don't know if we're going to be able to go catch them or not. But we do have uh, a decent bit of time left. I have the feeling that uh, the way these pl tires plateau, though, it's probably just going to hang even ish up there. We're not going to gain too much more now that our tires are a little older in this run now. Oh, I pushed pretty hard right there. Close to the wall. It's getting tight, I guess. 
Make sure I don't uh, go too far with that. Not so sure we are uh, going to be catching or losing to anyone else. This beat it. Although I think... Yes, Mike is still going to be behind us somewhere, I think. He might be on his way. Probably pretty quickly, too, so we could lose, a, lose another spot. But I don't think we're catching the 7 up there in the top 5. Back coming out of the pits. He'll zoom away on his fresh tires. That's the Spider-Man guy. It's huh. Peter Parker up ahead of us. There's uh, another person that could come past us. The number 9 just showed up on our relative. He pit much later. He's probably gaining a second on us a lap, so we could fall back further. Sixth place. Well, I'm starting to feel like Ryan Newman. Some blocking going on, maybe? This is what I assume that statement means. he's trying to say he's really good at qualifying which doesn't seem applicable to this situation like he got hit in the head by a car hmm. nah I'm just a rolling chicane <clears throat> so we got 21 to go. We've got a hard charging 9 car probably going to come past us eventually. I think Mike's probably going to show up eventually. So I think we're going to just have to be happy if we can manage to finish in the top 10. There's a long way to go here. The gap to Newsom in front is now 5.3. Clean old school race though. It's been great. Klein is really new in. The gap's now 4.3 seconds. Devin ahead, even though he's on older tires, is pulling away from us. So that doesn't make me feel too good. Just done at I think something might have just happened to the 18 up there. I wasn't looking, but he kind of started swerving around. We've got the wall. Still don't see Mike on our relative. There's still plenty of time too. That was a 34.9. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Oh, a wreck. I was called out ahead of us, too. Might be coming up on something. It's a five. Calling that out. I don't see anything. He did say wrecking, I think. Hmm. Guess they saved it. I guess they're good up there. Not seeing anything. Really throw this one for a loop, though. 
down to 2.2. Nine is two seconds back. It's taking him a little bit longer than I expected to get here, but he's still coming up. He's still on his way. Had the thought. No more green flag pit stops to worry about, so let's put this all the way back. Help us out a little bit on that turn in. Okay, I think that was pretty good. I'm starting to think maybe we won't see Mike again. Maybe he had uh, an issue. Closer to the end, he's yet to appear. Let's scroll through the relative. There he is, 11.3 back. That's a long way to go. Even if he is much faster. Don't think there's going to be any defending against the nine. He's going to have so much more grip through the corner. Probably be able to get alongside with ease. Six point five seconds. You've just done a thirty-five point zero. Let's keep trying to hit good laps. See if we can push it off as long as we can. It's on the apron up ahead. That's a little scary. Control this thing on the apron. All right, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Having themselves a battle up there. Those lap cars. That last lap was at 34.9. The gap to Klein behind is now. Not yeah, behind us is within a half a second. 11 to go. It's gonna just get to us, I think. Not too many laps to spare. Too bad, but that's alright. I kind of expected it, even if it uh, took longer to actually happen than I thought it would. You've just done a 34.8. He's well within our draft now, too, so he'll be faster than us even on the straightaways. Is on his way. Sleep at the bottom. It's so much faster. Ten to go. This time by. B7. Clear. It's got tight. Thanks, Colton. Got over. No problem. No defending that. So we are P7, still not so bad. I am okay with that for sure. Nine to go. I think we will be okay to hold on to this spot. Mike's just too far back, and the guy behind us, I think, has been falling off from us. So Feeling all right. <laughs> the cars uh, on the back stretch here have this weird, like, wheelie thing they do. Oh my goodness! It almost drifts up into the lap car. Outside. Not to see that happening. Cheap load. That Cheap was kind of close. Got to figure it out, though. Cheap load. Clear high. I 
actually going a little bit faster now because we're following the nine. What a great race, though. I like the uh, break bias change I made. It does feel like it's uh, turning better now. At least on entry. It's still pretty tight elsewhere, but that's to be expected. How much you can do uh, with the brakes on exit of the corner? Nothing you really want to be doing anyway. Looks like the two is off to get the win. Not too surprising on how uh, the race started, but he has been able to maintain it through the green flag pit cycle. Right now it's the five in second place with a nice gap. And like he'll hold on to that spot. P7. And the other Brandon behind him looks like he's fighting with the number one. That spot is still contested. Five to go. Five. Five to go. Thank you. Push. Said that. Time to push, yeah. It's time to let the car rest a little bit. It's not wanting to turn so much anymore. Just gotta bring it around though. Shouldn't have too much trouble doing that and keeping our P7. You can see how the tires plateau. I mean, the, uh, the 9 has, let's see, we do a little bit of math based on what I'm seeing on Race Lab here. Let me make sure I'm driving correctly first, too, though. And he's got 15 lap fresher tires, and he's faster, but maybe not as fast as you might expect someone with 15 lap fresher tires to be. And I think that's because hey, he's been on them long enough that we're kind of equaled out. I think that might be what hurt Mike back there, too. Allowed us to overtake him if he didn't just have a pit issue. The gap to climb ahead is increasing. It's now 0.8. Tough to say what the right call was, because then again, that leader of the two... He stayed out really late, so I guess the case is Mike probably just had a slower pit stop for one reason or another. Two to go, it'll finish under yellow if we get a caution at this point. So at least we don't have to worry about any late restarts. Because unless they changed it, should be no green-white checkers in this series. They didn't exist yet. White flag. White flag. They're still fighting for third place. White flag, one more lap. Your last lap time was at 35.1. But they are too far for us to see it. They had a much better run. But hey, not too bad for us. P7, not bad at all. Use up the last of our tire, I guess, in the final corner. Push it a little bit. And bring it to the line. It's official. All right. There's the checkered flag. All right. Solid checkered day at the track. It is the six. Nice run. Solid work. That gets third place. And the two that gets the win. Do the GRGW. Good race, good win. Yeah, that was really fun. Yeah, no yellows. I learned a lot. Just go all out the first run because the tires won't fall off after a certain point. 
Is that the takeaway? That's interesting. I felt like my tires were actually terrible. <laughs> I was going backward. So maybe that is the case. Maybe you just have to push it pretty hard. <laughs> the left front's not doing so good. I don't know how much that mattered. All right. We'll go through and see what did happen out here, but not all too much, I don't think. Just a nice, clean, good race. Solid event. <laughs> I don't know how many different ways I can say the same thing. I'm going to sneeze, pardon me. Nope, nope, not going to sneeze. Eleven's going to hit the wall, though. Phew! Oh, sorry, I knew it was coming. Sorry about that. I don't even know how that would sound on the mic. But we are going through. Not seeing too much. Probably just some wall hits. I remember they called that wrecking at one point, so maybe we'll see an almost wreck from somebody at some point. Wall hit there. Skip ahead. If we just see you guys running alone. That guy's coming in to get tires. Ooh. That 52, the 15 is way in the grass. Testing out that new grippy grass from this season. They changed the physics of the grass to be more realistic. So a little less like ice and more just like a really bumpy, rough... Not too grippy, but still a lot more grippy than it used to be surface. So moving along... Going pretty fast here through the race because we're already on lap 62. Final guys getting their pit stop in, it looks like. 11 getting the wall. Close moment there. Is anything going to happen from it? Doesn't look like it. There's my tires falling off. Probably that left front screaming in pain. It's going to get the wall. I don't think we're going to be able to see too much here. Not sure much actually happened. It was just a very well-run race by just about everybody. Two getting past some lap traffic. Those two guys were fighting pretty hard for that third place. It looked like they must have been battling for a while. Line's getting real tight. End of the wall. Not enough to stop him from passing us, though. Anything happening here? No. I don't think we're going to get anything else. It looks like this is the end of the race, so... We will go ahead and go to the race results page next. As you can see, the race is now over. So we'll get all the official numbers. I think we're going to lose a little bit of I rating here, but it's not going to be a big loss. Judging by the estimates from Race Lab. 31-14 strength of field, a loss of 10 I rating. That's pretty much break-even territory. 127 championship points, I'm happy with that. Always just kind of try to finish above 100. That's a solid run for me, I'm always happy with that. And uh, you can see everybody else. Fastest lap goes to the number one. And uh, we'll scroll down through the bottom. So, thank you for watching. That'll do it for this one. Some classic old-school style racing. Everyone kind of spread apart. Driving our 87 cars in a clean race. Green flag pit stops. Save the tires a little bit. All that good stuff. So, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.